गुड मॉर्निंग दिस इज डॉक्टर बोरास्कर एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सब्जेक्ट इट वाज नॉट रियली कंसीडर मेनी टाइम्स एनी साइंटिफिक मीटिंग बट वी हैव रियलाइज्ड द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ दिस प्रॉब्लम इन डायबिटीज दैट इज कॉग्निटिव डिसफंक्शंस एंड दे कम अप सो सडनली पर्टिकुलर व्हेन यू आर मैनेजिंग अ डायबिटिक पेशेंट फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम फॉर अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम at the sugar we look at hb1c at the coma with condition like cardiac hypertension okay so this particular aspect occurs to us that this guy is not normal when interferes with the management of it he the gonium some order to take dosage we have given some order to take tablets at a particular time to ask him to keep follow up at a particular time and he makes me errors and we say okay, maybe he is preoccupied and things like but actually what's happening that he has a difficulty in understanding your orders and that is a major problem in management of obviously you see depression dementia delirium and the worst is denial say that i don't have diabetes something wrong with your lab report there's something wrong with the system i don't have any problem and the worst is diabetes As a depression manifestation, people were put on a strict diet. They off their track, start eating anything and everything out of vengeance, and that becomes a problem. So you realize that diabetes was a way back. Diabetes caused long sorrow and other depressions. Diabetes disease, which often shows itself in families in which insanity prevails. Sir Henry, not say he, 1879 made this statement. A lot of people objected to that, but he felt that interface of diabetes and psychiatry has a fascinated both mental and a mental health profession. Diabetes mellitus as well as psychiatric disorders are so common, may occur with one another, may worsen the other. Diabetes perpetuating psychiatric problems, problem worsening diabetes. Psychological stress may follow screening for diabetes. as well as when the diabetes is first identified first reaction is my god and usually people have families like amputation gangrene they have a very negative approach after the diagnosis of that diabetes and psychiatric disorders share high directional relation both influencing the type 2 diabetes is a common form only 10 to 15% cases attributed to type 1 diabetes in our country approximately a third people diabetes have psychological factor and a social problems that interfere their ability to manage their diabetes how important it is to understand the personality the psyche of the patient and unfortunately with the very schedule of diabetologists who okay for them to pay minute changes in brain issue it is to take a help to try to take a help of a psychologist or a psychiatrist not appreciated by many patients ka pagal hai kya why are you referring me to bed as a doctor funny that we always tell the look at a psychiatric help advisor not because you are crazy the words we don't use crazy then nutty say well you have some deranged function type 2 diabetes big issue managing that refer acceptance of diagnosis denial particularly fear of hypoglycemia fear of complication and fear of adherence type psychological factors of diagnosis of diabetes is the fear of hypoglycemia fear of complication first the two complaints condition can present as independent condition with no apparent direct connection second the course of diabetes can be complicated by emergence of psychiatric disorder third certain psychiatric disorders like depression and schizophrenia act as significant independent risk factor for development of diabetes dependent schizophrenic people or bipolar what they call they have a propensity to develop altered level fourth there could be an overlap between the clinical presentation of hypoglycemia and ketoacidosis episodes and conditions such as panic attacks 
now very difficult to really differentiate panic attacks from pakka hypoglycemic and hypoglycemic symptomatology and post hypoglycemic syndrome fed glucose tolerance and diabetes could emerge as a side effect of the medications used for psychiatric disorder on the problem first of all the quality of life is bad cost of the care is improved poor glycemic control as evidenced by higher hba1c increased risk of diabetes related premature mortality increased emergency visits due to ketoacidosis hypoglycemia another problem higher cost of treatment higher frequency of hospitalization higher rate of absenteeism work people with depression and diabetes stay away from work is a big problem showing such people times i'm called certify particular type 1 diabetic for a big employment issue and there is a panel of doctors certify what is the liability the company is buying by employing this man there obviously many issues first the biggest challenge is management of psychiatric disorder among the diabetes the low rate of detection first of all the detection is done by a smart physician when he comes patient is come to your clinic three sentences or three dialogue points it is for a person of a seniority of our level you know that this guy is not normal but we feel that well we must a long rope his defense try to see that possibly acting like this due to the diagnosis of diabetes or complications of diabetes but underlying psychiatric formality has to be studied deeply we have to spend a lot of time for that up to 45% of the case of mental disorders and severe psychological distress go undetected among patients who have been treated for diabetes physicians should be aware of the possibility of comorbid psychiatric disorders likely to be associated with diabetes psychiatric comorbidity is not uncommon is those who suffering from diabetes obviously common antecedents genetics fetal development inflammation Neuro endocrine disorders, poor diabetes, poor diet, poverty, deprivation can lead to severe mental illness. Coupled by poor diet, poor physical activity, antipsychotic agents, smoking, all lead to either obesity and type two diabetes. So very bad vicious. These are all molecular problems which cause the comorbid medications for given for hypertension, dyslipidemic agents. can cause mediating mechanisms macrovascular disease microvascular disease of ischemia functional anemia hyperglycemia insulin resistance they all can give mixed pathology and therefore person heads toward the multifactorial changes the chemistry of brain they deeply study today because Well, everybody is afraid of Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease getting common and common. In fact, you know Alzheimer's disease called type three diabetes. There is a insulin and a fuel system interaction in the brain. High glucose, low glucose. High insulin, low insulin. All can cause pain, predisposition, Alzheimer's disease. Now, obviously, Alzheimer's disease is a multifactorial. Type one, the extracellular, type two diabetes, all work multiple kinins, and that it accelerates Alzheimer's. The five Ds of diabetes, everybody know, depression has been stated. The causal role in emergence of diabetes, emergence of depression in diabetes associated increased complication. Diabetes, depression, and multiple comorbidities. major depressive disorder affect adults of the age of 18 rates of depression among in type 2 diabetes across the life span are two times higher than the general population younger type 1 diabetic are especially at the risk of poor physical and mental health outcomes and mature morbid mortality depression and diabetes is also associated with self care and a poor self care particularly with respect of diabetes treatment 
adherence, poor glycemic control, more long-term complications. The depressed person that is either depressed due to deformity, disability, or the depression is worsening all the issues. So it's a completely bi-directional disease process, and one has to treat depression, maybe with the help of counseling, therapy, or at times antidepressants. Depression can be successfully treated in a person with diabetes. The psychotherapy and antidepressant medications have shown moderate effect on depression, but minimal effect on glucose. Type 2 diabetes consistently be associated with cognitive decline, mild, cogn mild cognitive impairment, and dementia, both vascular dementia and Alzheimer's disease. Diabetes had a 70% greater risk of development of dementia. Observed in patients with diabetes both in life and at a later date. Pre diabetes, the insulin has been to be associated with increased risk of cognitive decline. Amazing that many times type 1 diabetics are brought to you. The parents say, Stop, this doesn't pay attention. So, and when we hear this word, we slow, the slowness of Processing information. There is a slowness of registering. Basically, if you consider mental sharpness, it has got three factors. One is attention, storage of that material that you have got, and then recall. Reproduce it. There are the three important factors for memory. An impaired memory function in children deals directly with the poor scholastic performance. And you have seen. Nice control of type 1 diabetes it improves the scholastic performance. Doctor, his grades used to be very poor. Last two, three years after he's put on insulin and he's managing it so very well. The HBO is becoming less than six. His mental faculties have changed. His scholastic performance has improved. So this is an advantage of good treatment. Now, obviously, what is the link? Mechanism or association is not known. High blood sugar or insulin can harm brain in several ways. Brain depends on many different chemicals. It may be unbalanced by too much insulin. Some of these changes may trigger health dementia. High blood sugar causes inflammation, may damage brain cells, help dementia. What's good for your heart? Remember, what's good for your heart, for your brain? Living healthy lifestyle that promotes cardiovascular health Benefit your brain also. Eat a healthy diet rich in vitamin D, folate B6 and B12. Exercise regularly. Exercise has enormous effect on mental function. When you are depressed, you have run down, you'll go exercise. Exercise does two things cardiovascular circulation, use the brain circulation. Most important, it body's present hormone known as beta endorphin. Your feeling of high. Person who regularly exercises can face any situation in life bravely. That is a great effect of exercise. And socially active. Remain socially active. Connect with people. Don't only sit with your mobile. Go out. Talk to people. Meet people. Communicate. These are all things and cognition. I've seen fortunate type 2 diabetic after retirement. There is a gradual deterioration in their mental health because their social contact reduced. That is what must keep on going. All crossword puzzles, all some intricate mathematics equations. <coughs> so social work. Hit people. Talk to people. And if you are depressed, go and see a person who is more depressed than you and cheer him up. It is very nice to think that Sahara also a Sahara one. If you have no support structure, you be a support structure to others that gives you mental well being. Delirium in diabetes is a very, very which could be manifestation of hypoglycemic or ketoacidosis. Patient with diabetes suffering from comorbid psychiatric disorder more ill and they are. Experience hypoglycemic deliriums. 
delirium is associated with various adverse outcomes, including increased hospital stay, increased cognitive functional deterioration, morbidity, and more. It is also found yesterday or day before yesterday. I read a paper that a diabetics were admitted in a long period of time. They are vulnerable, develop severe cognitive disorders. And that is a very serious matter. So minimize the number of days in a hospital. That is what the entire team will work on. Now, patients are excited, talking irrelevantly, and moving around aimlessly in hyperactive delirium. Very common, particularly a delirious person comes in it. Don't talk in mile a minute. There is no relevance in what he talks. On fiddling on your table things of your phone, and it at times you have to really control him. So disorientation, confusion, and altered sensorium are shared by both of these forms. Other clinical features of delirium include perceptual disturbances such as hallucinations, sleep wake cycle disturbances, <coughs> and the worst is heart disturbance. Many people feel that. They are millionaires. They do what is known as shopping ther therapeutic shopping. What is therapeutic shopping? Go to a shopping place, buy things which are absolutely useless for your wife, but by just sheer ability to shop gives you a feeling of high. So they are dangerous people because they spend out of proportion. Some people who are in the public life, they commit for a very megalomaniac kind of projects. Ten thousand crore ka project. Without really realizing that is it hazard to do it? No. Therefore, they can cause a lot of social problems. So, <coughs> how do you treat this early identification? Mainstay of the treatment, correction of underlying cause and supportive care. Potent low dose dopamine antagonist, known as a typical antipsychotics, could be used to control, has to be done by the specialist. Denial of the diabetes goes as long interference with your self care and consequence can be dangerous. Denial has a few catch phrases to hear. One bite won't hurt. There is a sore, or Mera may take a my wound heal very fast. So some kind of a denial. This is you have to spot because it leads to self neglect. I will go to doctor later. I have time. Nahi. I don't have time to do it. My diabetes isn't that serious. I have to take a pill, not shots. The various forms of denial. Regular changes, weight, awkwardness over questions about diabetes control or injection. Avoiding clinical appointments, clinics appointments, having a high HbA1c, skipping injections because hypoglycemic, low sodium and low potassium. Appetite is serve craving again a feature of denial. The side effects of manipulating and omitting insulin from the body can be serious. Blood sugar levels can surge, cause a greater risk of ketoacidosis. Can be immediate danger to people who not take insulin. The medium of long term, the risk of suffering complications such as retinopathy. Neuropathy and kidney disease greatly increase. Then, what type one and type two diabetes performance or numerous cognitive function? They should receive Medicare team that may include physician, nurse practitioner, physician assistant, dietitian, pharmacist, and mental health professional. With cost involved, luxury. Normally, practicing physicians we do the roles of all these people. So our patients also want, after writing a beautiful diet by my dietitian, the patient comes back to my clinic. After they borrow the language, they come to me, right or wrong. Eventually, they have only provide a teamwork, one consultation. That's now most common cognitive deficit in type 1 flowing of information. I told you, information processing is slow, worsening psychomotor efficiency, deficit speed. This is very characteristic. The child talks very slowly. 
the poetry also which is a function of the right side of the brain child thinks the poetry very slowly because processing of information is a poor vocabulary and general intellectual poverty poor attention so he is looking out of the window when there is some mathematical figures deficit in tomato sensory examination poor matter strength and memory the strength in the upper limb also goes down cognitive performance in type 1 diabetes improvement is seen in the motor speed verbal scores and vocabulary memory and academic achievements while cognitive function worsen other diabetic complications are more susceptible <laughs> type 2 diabetes memory short term and long term psychomotor speed and comprehension complex motor functions are just forgotten the person multitasking person simultaneously they are trained to do two things they can't do one thing properly because of difficulties doing fine movements of the fingers and the complex motor functions are very very difficult fluency in the speech and attention talk slowly talk stammering and then it comes for words familiar words in medical lecture and suddenly forget what words that you heard from your first mbbs humble for the word four fold increase in developing cognitive impairment the hbo's is igt without diabetes is also at the risk cognitive dysfunction so in nutshell the insulin resistance the absence of c peptide the hyperglycemia indicated an organ damage microvascular disease absence of apophor allele and hyperglycemia all result into cognitive modalities for reassessment of cognitive cognitive function testing book book potential response potential and eg mri and a spectrum scanning role of insulin resistance and amyloidosis sorry the pain not to be insulin independent organ brain does not need insulin to process sugar brain is independent one organ doesn't need insulin for metabolism of glucose however the page can show can increase brain glucose metabolism setting of hyperinsulin response which may play a role Alzheimer's. So, normally we used to think that well, sir, the brain will take care of its own. That is not. You have to see that the neuro content of the brain of glucose must be optimized when damage due to Alzheimer's disease. Thank you very much for paying attention my lecture. <laughs>